My heart and passion more than anything else is the next generation. I look at young people today and they have more moral pressures, they have more intellectual challenges, just one click away on their cell phones than most people of a previous generation experienced in college or beyond. My passion is to encourage young people, to equip young people, to motivate them to stand up and speak truth, but also kind of to wake up the church in my opportunities that I have. I think that's what gets me up in the morning. My hope and dream for every student, from the first freshman that comes in to the oldest graduate student that we have, is that God would open their eyes, God would encourage them to be a light and to be just a voice for the kingdom of God in whatever circumstances God puts them in. Whether it's big or whether it's small, that they would be equipped, they would be motivated, that they would have a broken heart for the world, and just go out and speak truth into people's lives in a world in which it's becoming increasingly easy to compromise. I think in, in the Christian world, sometimes we have certain people who are rock stars, who have a big name, and maybe they become an NFL quarterback, or maybe they become you know, a, a rock star, literally, or a politician, and we throw all our eggs in that basket. And I think it's important to have people in that area of influence. My hope is that every biograph will use their unique gifts to think Christianly and love and bless people that are around them. A number of years ago, I got an email from a friend, a fellow Biola student, who asked me to be a part of this debate with this high school teacher who has his PhD and had been teaching for a number of decades, who was sued in a court of law because a student recorded him under the desk in the classroom and said that he had said some disparaging things against Christians. It was kind of a big deal. When I first got the email, I thought, man, do I want to debate him? There's plenty of people who would be better at this. We live in a time where each one of us in our own way need to have courage. We need to be willing to step out with conviction. So I, with somewhat fear and trembling, agreed to have this public debate, which I had never done before. The bottom line is I was prepared by my training at Biola incredibly, incredibly well. And it gave me courage, it gave me the conviction, kind of just to stand out and speak truth. What I love most about Biola is just a, a, an unapologetic commitment to truth but also a commitment to communicate that with love and with graciousness and in the context of a relationship.